everybody goldie here and today we're taking a look at the newest character in wwe champions and she is finally here we got raquel rodriguez powerhouse i don't remember um anyone ever calling her just straight up powerhouse but whatever she's a powerhouse who would have guessed um modern era focused powerhouse trainer ability at 26k Green gems do 50% more damage, and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. Um, so interesting, it looks to be a new set of gem damage trainers. Links, raw, any color move, start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Um, and as you can see, the belt aligns very nicely over Backhill Rodriguez. I have um, the six star silver version um, because I did the blog reveal and did the exclusive gameplay on there. So this preview is going to be a little higher damage than everybody else's. And I don't say that as a brag. I say that as a please keep this in mind when looking at the different content creators. Um, please know that mine is a rarity higher. So numbers are going to be a little bit skewed but i do have five builds i want to take a look at with her the first available at three star we have the finisher the tahana bomb 10 mp deal 473,806 damage choose two rows to destroy and pin the opponent green one the fall away slam 6 mp deal 174,931 damage and choose seven gems to make into red gems the Bear Hug 7 MP Submission. Generate 31 random submission gems and do 221,672 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into column break gems. Entourage for this. Steel for green MP. Tech Damien Priest for 150% more to the finisher. Tech Brett, the new one, for 40% more to the finisher. And um, I have Trick Snoop for 25%. You could use Gooker for 25% as well. This is going to be a move damage build. Don't have a red takedown two, unfortunately. So one set of takedown twos for the 40%. One set of regular takedowns for the 15, and that is the 200% metal. I'm going to be using the Tested Loyalty Plate. Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75% for two turns. So this finisher should get fairly high. So pros and cons. Pro, she does the back thing. Con, she's wearing a coat. That's like her whole thing. Um, so 2.67 million damage on the finisher. We're going to do two, three matches here. That is going to trigger the tested loyalty plate. We're up to 303. Uh, going to use the bear hug, drain some MP, and then the remaining turn into column break. So hopefully we can... We have some aligned that we can break the entire board. It's looking promising. Uh, so the Tahana Bomb, 3 million damage. That is a really cool animation. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we can do this one for... So 1, 2, 5, 7, and this is 3, 4, 6. Perfect. That's the entire board. Now I am using the move damage plate as this is a takedown build, but the new Santa's Muscles plate, whenever you break three or more red gems, get three green MP. That would be an ideal candidate for her as well. Let's go take a look at one more move damage build. Next build we're going to take a look at brings in the 
five star move and the other red. So we're running the fall away slam for the cheese red. Bringing in the scoop slam, six MP deal, one million, count it, one million, 5,779 damage and make the bottom three rows into column break gems. And the five star move is a shoulder block, 8 MP, deal 297,792 damage, and choose a six by two area to make into multiply gems of strength seven. So we are making a couple entourage changes. We're taking out Tech Priest, bringing in Judgment Day Finn for 100% to red moves, and then taking out Brett, bringing in Gooker for 25%. So this is at 2.5 mil before the belt. The belt, we are keeping the same. That's 342% after we break the red gems. But this should scale quite nicely. All right, so we need to do two, three matches here. We also need to give ourselves something to break. And then we're going to fill in the rest there. Trust me. Trust me. So that increased our red move damage. We are going to make the bottom three rows into column breaks. And we've left ourselves a swipe here. We've also put these up here so we can cover those with multiply gems. So 5.78 mil. And we criticaled. So 6.9. Damn, that was fine. Um, and this is doing 1.7. So I'm going to put this over the area of red and green that we've made. And just remember, we don't have a takedown. Uh, we don't have a Fury Bell. We have takedown. So 34,241 on the red gems. We're going to blow up the entire board. We had a green gem with the multiply to recycle. Didn't need it. 3.1 mil on the swipe. Full drain to six star bronze. So that's beefy. That is beefy. Let's go ahead and switch to some gem damage. Next build we're going to take a look at brings in the blue moves and we are using the multiply gem move again. Blue one, big boot, 8 MP, deal 314,295 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. Blue two, the arm trap headbutt, 6 MP, deal 168,419 damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems. That will increase your red MP by 5 on every countdown turn and make 21 random gems into blue gems at the end of the countdown. And we are doing that with the shoulder block, making it the area of multiplied gems. Entourage for this, Lawler for blue MP, Tech Lex for blue MP, and an increase to the multiply gems. Zombie Dominic for some insurance on covering the entire board with blue gems and hall of fame snoop for 20 percent blue gem damage you could use king seamus if you have him doing the flat 12,000. you could use um, mem rock for an extra multiply to make these times nine totally depends on what you have available to you switched over to fury twos we have the beefy 30 percent gem damage belt and the pyro princess plate Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your blue gem damage by 50% for two turns. So the blue gem damage and a stun lock and a recycle, this should be strong. So for context, 54,000 on our blue gems. Let me go ahead and stun. Now, what you could do here is use um, NWO Hogan as a coach. And that maybe gets you loaded up a little more to hit a stun again. Going to go ahead and put that there. Not that it really matters if we're going to be destroying the entire board, but we went from 56 to 66. 532 on the multiply gems. And hopefully don't cascade. There we go. Now the entire board's going to go blue. That's going to refill. And 9.2 mil. 
So almost a full drain. Almost a full drain. But definitely some fun things you can do with that. Let's look at one more spec with these blue moves. So next thing I want to do is do the blue moves with the sub. Um, it is on the safe side, a little slower. We're doing double MP to get everything going. And the La Familia plate, whenever you break blue, get three green MP. So the juggernauts are going to turn everything blue. We're going to get a little bit of green MP from that. That's going to load up the sub. And hopefully maintain the stun lock. Like I said, not going to be the fastest, but a nice defensive build. If you're looking for a, a powerhouse to put in um, like a showdown defense or something. Hit the big boot. Now we're going to get to double tap this, it looks like. Stun for two turns. We're going to fill everything up. So 2.6. She's stunned again. Going to hit that. I'm going to put the the Juggernaut gems out again, and then we're going to hit the sub. And it's going to be just repeating this until they're completely drained. So obviously, if you're going up against someone with an escape artist um, or an anti-stun, don't do this build. But, you know, you can always take a green match as well, or just blow up the board. Try to refill your greens that way. Um, if you don't want to use an MP plate, you could use the Gremlin's Ears skill plate. That'll boost your blue gem damage off of the submission. But like I said, just a safe defensive build. Something else to consider. Uh, one more build I would like to do. Let's go take a look at her six star move. Six star move is the Canadian Backbreaker 8 MP. Deal 267,282 damage plus... 66,878 bonus damage for every column break gem. We are going to run this with the fall away slam to choose red and the scoop slam to um, slam her for a million base damage and make the bottom three rows into column breaks. Steal for green MP. Sheiky baby, rest in peace the legend. If you have him at five star gold, you will get 156% more damage to your column break gems as it stands. 9k, 69 club for me, so 114%. Uh, Powerhouse Drew for 15% and Striker Trish, thank you Trish, uh, for 75% more damage to the column breaks. We are doing about 203,000 per. Again, this would be a good candidate for the Santa's Muscles plate, but why don't we use Santa's um, Alter Ego plate, the Hulkamaniac? Whenever you break 20 or more gems, increase your red gem damage by 200% for two turns. She is a powerhouse, so let's boost this primary color, blow up the board, and see what we can do here. Bianca, I need you to kick out once. So we are MP short here. Grumble, grumble, grumble. That's totally fine though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a prayer. And a prayer. Prayers up, we did it. All right. Oh, we criticaled for 1.4 mil, bet. Uh, plus 203 bonus damage. We got 21 gems. That's 4.26. We gave ourselves a swipe. I don't think she's kicking out. I don't think she's kicking out. Um, but in the six star silver world where the health pool is double, she very well kicks out and we have loaded up our moves from destroying the board, and our gem damage from the Hogan plate. Let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Raquel Rodriguez Powerhouse. 
again at six star silver so please keep that in mind when you're watching other creators and their previews uh, my damage output will be a tiny bit higher on the base because of the six star silver as opposed to the six star bronze to reiterate she is you guessed it a powerhouse um modern era focused trainer ability 26k Green gems do 50% more damage, and multiply gems generated from moves will increase their strength by one. Links, raw, any color moves start with one more move point. Modern era gems do 5% more damage, and just the one standard set of gear. Uh, and they're calling her raw power, and it's you debuted on SmackDown. Anyways. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. A lot of people have been saying we need Raquel in the game. Here she is. Um, not showing off the back. We do have a coat in the way, unfortunately. But curious to hear what everyone thinks. I know we just recently got Piper Niven as well in the modern powerhouse game. And we all know how people feel about Piper when she came out. Um, so curious to hear your thoughts on Raquel. Um, will you be pursuing this weekend for her? Are you going to run Fury? You're going to run Takedown? How would you run her? Please let me know in the comments. Always love hearing from you. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Mi gente! <laughs>